Welcome to lesson 159 of EFT Tapping with the Course in Miracles workbook. You can watch lesson one if you want a breakdown of what this whole process is here. So lesson 159, I give the miracles I have received. This is a longer, more dense one as well. So a few, few minutes to, to do this with me. So let's go to the side of the hand, repeating after me. Even though the world teaches that giving and receiving are two separate things that we lose what we give I choose to open my mind to a different way I give the miracles I have received even though I may not yet see the world through the vision this lesson and course speak of. I choose to have compassion for myself and I give the miracles I have received. Even though I may not yet be aware of this treasure trove of the Holy Spirit that this lesson beautifully illustrates. I choose to honor and accept myself and my process, opening my mind to these ideas today. I give the miracles I have received. Okay, through the points now. No one can give what he has not received. To give a thing requires first you have it in your own possession. Here, the laws of heaven and the world agree. But here they also separate. The world believes that to possess a thing, it must be kept. Salvation teaches otherwise. To give is how to recognize you have received. It is the proof that what you have is yours. And just allowing my mind to open up to this different relationship to giving. You understand that you are healed when you give healing. You accept forgiveness as accomplished in yourself when you forgive you recognize your brother as yourself and thus do you perceive that you are whole there is no miracle you cannot give for all are given you Receive them now by opening the storehouse of your mind. Where they are laid. And giving them away. I choose to receive and give. Christ's vision is the miracle. in which all miracles are born. It is the bond by which the giver and receiver are united in extension here on earth as they are one in heaven. Christ beholds no sin in anyone. Christ's vision is the bridge between the worlds. 
and I allow my mind to take in this beautiful image. The treasure house of all things that can contribute to your happiness. All are laid here already. Picturing this treasure trove from the Holy Spirit. Where all can be received but for the asking. Here the door is never locked. And no one is denied. His least request or his most urgent need. There is no sickness not already healed, no lack unsatisfied, no need unmet within this golden treasury of Christ. Christ's vision is the holy ground in which the lilies of forgiveness set their roots. They need the light and warmth and kindly care Christ's charity provides. Take from his storehouse that its treasures may increase, allowing my mind to grasp that the treasures increase by my taking. His lilies do not leave their home when they are carried back into the world. Their roots remain They do not leave their source, but carry its beneficence with them and turn the world into a garden like the one they came from and to which they go again with added fragrance. Now they are twice blessed. Behold the store of miracles set out for you to give. Allowing myself to really see and feel this. Judge not God's son, but follow in the way he has established. Christ has dreamed the dream of a forgiven world. I choose to dream with him. His dream awakens us to truth. His vision gives the means for a return to our unlost and everlasting sanctity in God. Okay, take a breath. Mm, yeah, some of the imagery in this, I just had to read every word. So hope, hope that helps with the tapping, helps cement the idea um, into your mind. It, it does for me, helps kind of reprogram the system, which is what part of, part of tapping does when we work through emotional issues, but to kind of, you know, help your mind and help your body readjust to ideas that are very different than what we are used to. Um, I'm finding this helpful to me. I hope it's hope it's continuing to be helpful for you. I imagine if you've stuck around this long, you're getting something from it, or if this is the first one you're coming across. I hope you enjoy this approach and maybe try it with other lessons. All right, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.